Tom Rockvam is a local author who writes about his childhood adventures growing up on Lake Minnetonka. Flew him about halfway across Crystal Bay. Each year he makes a special visit to the fifth grade class at St. Therese School in Deephaven. Kids don't miss anything, do they? It's got to be three years ago or four years ago. Uh, I got an email from a fifth grade teacher at St. Therese uh, by the name of Mary Davy. I told him my idea, which was to come up with uh, some worksheets and some um, story prompts off of his stories. And he was very willing to work with me and to let us use his material. And it has been just wonderful for the kids. I talked this guy in the hardware store into, they had a cannon, it was really cool. It shot wooden, wooden bullets. You know, you think of this, I was a first grader. And I said, well, I was in here yesterday and paid for this, and the guy told me they'd have men today. And he said, oh, okay. So I just walked out the door with it, you know. So I'm back in class, and about halfway through, there's a knock on the door. And open it up, and there's the principal of the school, the owner of the hardware store, came walking in, and they look over the class, and he says, yeah, it was him. And so I got busted, you know. They get into the stories like you can't believe, and, and I think it's the same thing because a lot of the stuff I wrote about was when I was their same age. One of the things on their worksheet is they um, write a story based on some incident that Tom wrote about that's happened in their own life, and so it's a nice way to make connections with someone from a different generation and be able to share stories back and forth. I crawled under the bed and then my sister turned the lights off, and I was waiting there for like 10 or 15 minutes, and then my dad sat down. I reached out and I grabbed his ankles from over to the bed, and I made like this really creepy monster noise. And then he screamed and he like jumped all over my back. And everybody, uh, my whole family came rushing in, and then my dad's like, oh, it's just you. <laughs> Kids have not changed one bit. And that's why it's interesting listening to some of their stories. We had circle out in the bay and come in and hit those two planks, and then cut the motor at the same time and pull it up and see how far we could fly that boat up into the yard. And when I pulled it up, I turned it just a little bit. That made it tough to get between the trees, so I just bounced off all the trees. <laughs> but. Everybody can be a writer. Um, they too can be writers, and that um, you want to always write about the things that are closest to you, where you live, the things that are closest to your heart. We had 40 rental boats at the resort, and every Friday we had to pull them up and wash them out, my brother and I. Every now and then, part of that bucket would go over the top of the gunnel, and it would, of course, get me. So one day I said to him, after I'd taken about three baths, I said, okay, once more, and you're going to be wearing the boat. I would just have it on my fingertips and waiting for that next water to come. And when it did, I pushed it. Well, went over and trapped him underneath. I was running away, and I was running toward the lake. And he always carried a, a hunting knife in a sheath. And he stopped, and he pulled it out, and he zipped it at me, and it I was probably 30 feet away, got me right in the rear end. Tom is continuing to write, and is currently in the middle of his next book, which will reveal more of his stories about growing up on Lake Minnetonka. I probably do, I don't know, 50, 60 talks a year on books all around, but nothing, nothing tops coming back to St. Therese and, and, and meeting with the kids.